In Google Cloud, Identity and Access Management, or IAM, governs the access to resources. Administrators uses IAM policy to control who can access the resource within their organization. There's a need to restrict access employees only to resources in authorized Google Cloud organizations. The organization restriction feature lets you prevent data exfiltration through phishing or insider attacks. For managed devices in organization, this feature restricts access only to resources in authorized Google Cloud organizations. The diagram illustrates how different components work to enforce organization restrictions. The components in the architecture diagram shows a managed device, an egress proxy, and Google Cloud. Managed device is a device that is governed by the organization policies of a company. Employees of an organization use a managed device to access the organization resources. Egress proxy is a proxy that adds organization restriction headers to any requests originating from the managed device. This proxy configuration prevents users from accessing any Google Cloud resources in the non-Google Cloud organizations. The organization restriction features within Google Cloud that inspects all requests for organization restriction header and allow organized requests based on the organization being accessed. To set up organization restrictions, the egress proxy administrator configures the egress proxy to add the organization header. Next, the Google Cloud administrator configures the identity and access management to govern the access to resources based on organization header. To use the organization restriction feature, egress proxy admin needs to work together with Google Cloud admin to ensure the right organization has the proper restriction to the resources. For the demo in this video, you'll see the restricted access to an employee so that the employee can only access resources from one Google Cloud organization, but not the other. For the managed device, you must set the FortiGate's public IP address as a proxy server on the client web browser. To configure FortiGate VM in GCP as egress proxy, first set the explicit web proxy, set the listening interface, and the HTTP port. Next, create a proxy policy. Set the proxy type to explicit web. Outgoing interface, specify the destination addresses. One command, only configurable in CLI, is set web proxy profile. Prior to adding the command in the proxy policy, configure the web proxy profile with the GCP organization ID using set content command. The set content command inserts the organization ID into headers. The organization ID can be found using gcloud projects get ancestors command. Let's observe 40 gate proxy in action by turning on sniffer on port 8080. Using the managed device, open the browser and attempt to access restricted resources. An access denied message appears in the browser. Next, access the resource in the configured organization and the access is granted. Back on the 40 gate, you can observe the packets as they are being proxied by the 40 gate. For more information, please visit docs.49.com using the URL in the video or scan the QR code. This concludes a demo of organization restriction for GCP. Thank you for watching.